Hello Dev, welcome to Web Dev Made Easy. Welcome to this exciting exploration of CSS animation. Ever want to make your website design truly stand out? Well, you're lucky. In this special YouTube video, we are gonna delve into awesome border animation effects using CSS. Get ready to be amazed as we are cover the secrets to create stunning animations that will keep your audience glued to the screen. Whether it's a general movements or eye-catching rotations, we've got you covered. So grab a seat, relax, and join us on this journey to take your website project to the next level. Don't miss out, let's dive in and make your website shine like never before. Alright devs, let's start creating from scratch, ok? Let's create our major files, our index.html, and the second one is gonna be our style.css, both of them as always. And now let's go to the main screen, make it a a little smaller, okay. Okay, now we have our markup, so let's start very simple. Let's give it a title, awesome bottom animation effects, because it's more than one, okay, using CSS. We also need the link, connect our markup to our CSS, you know it. Link CSS, okay. We have created that already. And in the body, all we need here is a div with a class of box. It's that simple. Let me use that method again here, dot box and enter, and you have it. Now we're gonna use the live server to see what we have so far. Looks like we have nothing. So let's go to our style.css and have our CSS reset. But before we have our CSS reset, I'm gonna show you why we need the CSS reset. So let's create a model here so you understand that different browsers like Safari, Google Chrome, they have different numbers and we don't want it. We want our own numbers. So let's get rid of the margin, margin zero, padding with padding zero, and box sizing is gonna be body box. As you can see on the left, we did a good job. We're gonna work with our own numbers. And for the body here, let's say for the layout, it's gonna be display flex. We want everything in the middle, so just like content center along the main X, align item center also along the cross axis, and we have another color, we don't have it white this way, okay? It's gonna be 252, 52B. And yeah, have this nice grayish background. Okay, let's grab the one file that we have in the body, the box. The position is gonna be relative because we're gonna have something that's gonna be absolute to it. Let me put here in the center so you can see. Let's give it a size, a width and a height of 400 pixels, so it's going to be a square. Let me give it some color so you can see, because if you cannot see, you cannot work with it. Okay, let me make it smaller. So yeah, we have this screen. Okay, now let's have something that if it's new for you, the repeating conic gradient. This function generates a repeating conic gradient, meaning the gradient pattern repeats itself. Okay, and now as you can see, we're gonna have this color FF9E80 at 5%, transparent at 5%, transparent at 40%, and after 50%, we have the color back. So it's gonna be alternating between the color and transparency. Okay, and this var here, this variable here, let me show it to you. This is gonna be, let's, first of all, let's have some animation there, show you. Let's have animation, let's call that something like animate, and 6 seconds is going to be linear, and of course it's going to be infinite, rounded forever, okay? So now I can show you. Let's go back here, and let's give a different degree. Let's say for example, DAG, 15 degrees, at 50 degrees we have this, but if you say at 30 degree, we're going to have another effect. And that's what it's going to do. This is going to start at zero 
but it's gonna repeat itself going from the color to transparent. Initially, it just this color, and after that, two colors and transparent. Okay, devs, now let's create and define a value for that dash dash AA that I talked to you about. The syntax angle defines the syntax for values assigned to the custom property dash dash AA. Inherit false, it specifies the custom property of dash dash AA should not inherit its value for its parent element. And for initial value, zero, sets the initial value of the cursor property, a, a, dash, dash, a, a, to zero degrees, okay? Now is the time, let's start creating some nice effect, okay? Let's have some animation, keyframes, let's say animate, you remember, that's the name of animation, at zero percent, we want the, our minus minus AA to be zero degrees. All right. Let me type here zero degrees. And at 100%, we are going to have 36 degrees making the thing spinning. Okay. So at 100, let's also make it just zero degree. It's going to start at zero degree. And at the end of the process, at 100% of the process, this is going to be 36 degrees. And yeah, it's working fine. As you can see, it goes from 0 degrees to 36 degrees. All right, and now let's get you ready to create a second color here. In order to do that, let's start a, another pseudo class, okay? Let me give some space to show, show it to you. It's going to be box. And the pseudo class is going to be before, as most of the time the content here is going to be nothing. The position is going to be absolute in the box, okay? It's going to occupy 100% of width the height of the box itself. And yeah, this part is done. Now let's deal with the color. Okay, now we are ready to have another color, okay? Instead of type everything, let's just copy this and paste down here okay and all we have to do now is change the color so wherever you see the orange let's have this blue here 80d 0ff at 0 percent let's have it also here at 5 percent and also at 5 percent and we can see both of them okay that's start working nice and now let's deal with the animation like the other one let's call it animate it's going to be four seconds also linear and infinite meaning it's gonna spin in forever okay like that and now to make it a little different of the first one let's have a animation delay if i can type it looks like that's not the case yeah this keyboard is not helping me now animation delay let's see minus two seconds and yeah it starts in looking good and now let's deal with this square make it a little bit better okay so let's apply a uh, box shadow zero zero offset 20 pixels blur and for the color rgba black with the transparent of 50 percent okay another thing here is very square let's have some Butter radius. All right. Make the corners a little bit round. And you have to do the same thing here also to the before. Okay, so the class before. So butter radius is going to be 20 pixels. And now, yeah, they fit together. And now is the best moment of this project where the magic is going to really happen. Okay. So let's grab the box and the pseudo class after. And now instead of have this, we're gonna have the pod effect, okay? The content is always empty most of the time. The position is gonna be absolute. And in here, let's also have a inset of eight pixels, okay?
let's also apply a background color different edge of of the the main background so let's pick a color here 2 g2 g39 and as you can see yeah it's starting looking good we have a red uh, some nice things here going on body radius here let's say 15 pixels okay all right it's looking starting looking good take a look at this at the corners good and for the border here let's say let's create a border of eight pixels solid and let's give it another color here it's gonna be 252 52b okay and take a look how different it is it looks magic right and let's apply it also a little blur to it so let me apply it here blow let's say one pixel let me give a save and it's all right different very nice that's all for today devs i really hope you like it if you like it it's best that you like it and subscribe button and as always i will see you in the next week with another project like this one bye bye see you